Welcome back. In this lesson, I will link all the buttons on the landing page to relevant contact forms. If we want the contact form to be filled out on the same page, this could be done in two different ways. The first method is to create anchor links. So when I click on any of the buttons, it should anchor to the specific section of the page automatically. The second method is pop-up forms. For today's lesson, I will use the first method to link all the buttons to a specific section on the landing page. So let's say if I click on this button, it should anchor automatically to this section of the page. This method is very easy and convenient for the visitors without ever leaving the page. Let's start by enabling the visual builder. In order for us to link this particular button to below contact form, we need to create anchor links. Let's first understand what is an anchor link. Anchor links also called jump links or in-page links are links that lead to another part of the page. If someone clicks on an anchor link, he doesn't go to a new page, but to another part of the same page. In our case, we will anchor all the buttons to the contact forms on the landing page. To start with, I will disable the global settings on all three contact us forms. Global settings are useful if you have the same contact form on different pages on a site and update a global section will save time. Since we are on the same page and specifically I'm using anchor links in this case, I will have to disable the global settings. To disable the global settings, click on three dots, then click on disable global. Now if you notice the section color changed from green to blue color. Open the contact form module settings. Navigate to the advanced tab. Over here click on CSS ID and classes. Here we have CSS ID and CSS class. CSS ID starts with a hash like hash ID selector can be set on only one unique element. CSS class starts with a dot like dot class selector can be set on multiple elements. Let's set the CSS ID and use all small letters. I will call this CTA. Now let's save the changes. What I have done is I have given an ID to this contact form section and I can set this ID to any button to anchor this section. Now let's link this particular button to below contact form. Open the button module settings. Open the link settings. Under the button URL, I will add hash sign as we call CSS IDs with hash sign and type CTA that we assigned earlier. Save the changes, save the overall settings and exit the visual builder. If it is set properly, then once I click on this button, it should anchor me to this contact form. Let's click on the get free consultation button. Great, it automatically anchored me to the first contact form. Overall anchor links are really useful. We can create anchor links from different pages to a specific section of this page or we can create the anchor links within the same page just like this one. Now I will move on to the next button on this page. Let's enable the visual builder first. I will scroll down to the second contact form. Click on three dots here and disable global. Once again, if you notice the section turned blue from green color. Perfect. Open the section settings. Navigate to the advanced tab. Open CSS ID and classes. I will name this CSS ID to CTA underscores 2. Save changes. Now I will scroll to the book and assessment button. Open the module settings. Open link area. Let's call the second CSS ID with hash sign, hash CTA underscore two. Save the changes. Exit the visual builder to test the button if it is working properly. I will scroll down all the way to book an assessment button. Let's click on it. Great, it anchored me to the second contact form straight away. Similarly, let's link the remaining buttons. 
I am done linking these buttons. If I further scroll down, now let's link contact me button to the below contact form. Open the button module settings. Open link area. Let's call the second contact form. I will call it with hash CTA underscores two. Save the module and overall changes. Let's scroll down further to the remaining buttons. I will link the following button get started to the third contact form. Let's scroll down to the contact form 3 to set CSS ID. Open contact form module settings. Navigate to the advanced tab. Let's call this CSS ID to CTA underscores 3. Save the changes. Let's scroll up again to get started button. Similarly, open the button module settings and under the link set the CSS ID with hash CTA underscores 3. Save changes. Further, if I scroll down, I will update these enroll now buttons to contact form 3. Open the package module settings. Open youth settings. Here I will update the button link URL. Type hash CTA underscores 3. Save changes. Likewise, I will update the remaining two modules. At this stage, I have linked all the buttons to relative contact forms. Let's exit the visual builder and test the buttons. Perfect. All buttons are linked and anchored accordingly. At this stage of the class, I hope you have completed your one page website or landing page. I would love to see your one page site or landing page. If you have completed it, please share your site URL in the class project section. That's all for this lesson. In the next lesson, I will add moving particles and 3D tilt effect to this site. See you guys in the next lesson.